So welcome to chapter 13 of the VW Bug Chronicles. Um, our adventure here with Myrna continues. For those of you who've been watching, you'll recall in episode 12, I had a failure uh, with the cheap regulator I bought. It was not, uh, well, it really wasn't doing anything. We were still getting about four pounds of uh, what I believe to be PSI, which is uh, a little bit too high. So I bought a Holly fuel, uh, fuel pressure or fuel pump regulator. This is uh, model 12804 and it's actually designed for carburetors and it's preset, preset at uh, 2.8 pounds. So I'm hopeful that uh, that seems to be right about where we should be. I think 2.5 to 2.8 uh, is ideal. So I think it will be in the ballpark. I'm not sure that it'll solve our problem, but it'll at least eliminate one thing because I know, well, I mean, you've seen it, we've got fuel pushing through gaskets and the smell of fuel, et cetera, et cetera, and, and continue to try to figure out why she stalls once, uh, once Myrna warms up. I think maybe the choke may need some adjustment. Maybe I've got it, uh, I don't know if it's advanced or retarded to where uh, maybe that butterfly is just opening too much when it gets warm. So we might play with that. But first we're going to uh, hook this bad boy up since it's preset. As you can see, it is uh, a lot beefier than the last one we had. This is the preset valve. Like I said, it, it's, or set valve. It's already set to 2.8. Here's your fuel in and you've got two fuel outs, obviously for dual carb. We only have one carb, so I bought a cap. I need to uh, thread these up. It even has a mount. So we'll mount it to, uh, we'll mount it to Myrna. Um, I guess we'll, we'll mount it here. We'll, we'll start Myrna and we'll sort of see what happens. Anyway, I'm glad you're tagging along on this uh, whew, ongoing adventure to get this girl well, she runs, she runs like a champ when she starts. It's just once she gets warm, she gets pretty fidgety. Anyway, let's get this set up. So the Holly fuel regulator is now mounted uh, on one of the, I don't know what you call this, we'll say cooling, cooling fin or cooling, just a, sh a shroud around the engine. Uh, again, fuel line in fuel line out and she's coming up to the filter and then into the carb and where the fuel lines coming in you can see we've got it tucked nicely behind it goes in right there so what we got to do now is start it and see what happens I did fiddle a bit with the choke um, I backed it off I, I maybe you've discovered something I'm not sure that this was actually adjusted properly I'm not sure I read something in uh, how to keep your Volkswagen alive. He says to disconnect it. I'm not ready to do that just yet, but in that position with the, uh, with, with this arm here, the choke is closed, which is where it should be. Previously, this was twisted around more. So perhaps uh, the choke was way out of adjustment and that was part of the problem, but we'll see. Let's give uh, Myrna a start and see what happens.
Okay, well, it's starting to get hot. I'm right back to my same problem. Uh, she doesn't start now. Clearly, I need to get uh, the fuel regulator. I don't know, I'm gonna have to buy some make a gasket stuff so that it doesn't leak. <sighs> so I think it's a choke problem, fuel problem, because, well, it's hard to tell, but we've got some moisture again coming through the gasket. So, I don't know, I'm very frustrated. <laughs> what to do, what to do. Do some more reading. That's what I need to do. Anyway, all right, it's getting hot. I have some other things to do, so we're sort of back to square one, I guess. I wasn't expecting uh, the fuel regulator to leak like a sieve, but uh, I'll get some make a gasket this week, and we'll smear some of that on. Hopefully, we'll seal it up. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this episode. Remember, as always, in this world, when you could be anything you want, you'd be kind, you'd be humble, you'd be forgiving, you know, be melting snow. And I will see you in chapter 14. <laughs>